Yes. Today marks the day I begin my 14th week of pregnancy. Mm -hmm. So got a little, little pooch happening right here. Apparently, according to the app, my baby is the size of a lemon. So, sort of, like my fist, whatever. So this is my craft stuff, or some of it. It's definitely not all of it. Um, but yeah, I have some work to do. Much better. Right, Katie? We have now gotten our crib. So, to update you a little bit, I am just now, today, starting uh, 16 weeks. We are a week before Christmas at this point. So, yeah. If you want to view, this is what I'm, I'm dealing with. Nice hollow thumping sound there. The crib. But it's not just any crib. It's a four-in-one crib that will grow with the child. <laughs> yes. I'm sitting in the middle of everything. I'm out of breath because I just walked up the stairs. So, there's that. Um, I have the urge to organize and clean, starting with this room. Will I get far? No one knows. <sighs> She's got the urge herbal. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to be proactive here, right? Because in... In the course of my pregnancy, I foresee that all of my exterior phalanges and extremities are going to swell up. What? Phalanges is another word for fingers. You learn this in like elementary school. Whatever. Look at this situation. So I should probably just stop and try again tomorrow, but I've tried yesterday and I tried today. I've tried everything. I've tried tape. I'm gonna cut this in half. Yeah. Try that first. So I'm gonna hold this down, wrap my finger up. I think it's gonna get thumped again. My finger's puffy. <laughs> poofy. Oh, okay. You're poofy. <sighs> well, that didn't work. I've tried it's soap. I've tried Windex. Thank you, Google. <laughs> so, a friend suggested that I use olive oil on my finger so let's do that 
Let's get my fingers in there. Ooh. Ooh, yummy. <clears throat> okay, so we watched a, a video a friend sent on another technique with string that we're going to try. Try. Okay, got it in there. Now we take some yarn. 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 We loop it through. And we pull it through. And we're going to wrap it corkscrew style. We're going to take that other string and we're going to twist around with it. It didn't work. Um, I had one last thought that I was gonna try while I can. It's currently 32 degrees outside. So. <gasps> Let's see. It's cold. reaching the point where I need to cut it off. The ring, that is. I want to take this off before, you know, things get worse and my finger actually does fall off because it lacks its proper circulation and whatnot. Let's begin. Warm. Ooh, warm. Called out the big guns. So we've already made a little indention there. A little snip on that side, so now I just gotta snip the other side. <sighs> Proceed. I feel like I'm in medieval times. Surgery mode. <gasps> Am I free? Am I free? It's free. Oh. Finger is gonna be scarred for life. You're welcome. Thank you, my love. <laughs> so, here is an update on the area of the house that I call the room of requirement. Those of you who are Harry Potter fans know what I'm talking about. So, did a little bit of rearranging of the furniture. And made a little progress, I guess. Yeah. That's a pair of legs. <laughs> What is that, spouse? <laughs> so they said to do. They said to fluff it. This is how you fluff pillows, right? No, that's how your hands look like little gazelles hopping all over the. <laughs> it hurts to do anything else. <laughs> it hurts. So. so you got a gazelle fluff it some more. So this is what has become of my body pillow thing. Mm -hmm. This is not for you. Hey guys, so update. I'm currently five months, 19 weeks. My sleep 
has improved since I have purchased the U-shaped pillow. It, it helps me to be more conscious on sleeping properly during this time. So one thing I learned, laying on your back is harmful, um, or laying on your back for long periods of time is harmful. Um, apparently, there is a certain nerve in your back that can get, um, that can be affected because of the weight of the baby and your uterus and all that stuff pushing down on this nerve if you lay on your back. So, that is something I wasn't aware of, but I am now, and kind of affects my sleep just a little bit, um, but this pillow has kind of assisted me in finding a more comfortable sleeping position for the time being. Earlier this week, um, I st actually started feeling um, some movement in the region. And by movement, I mean kicking or punching or whatever it is he's doing in there. Um, it's like aerobics on top of my bladder. It's a wonderful feeling. Um, people said, and I've read, that when you first start feeling the movements, it's like butterflies. I've also heard it's like gas. But my experience has been not those things. It's more, for me, it's more like uncontrollable muscle spasms or muscle twitches. Or, or you know, like, when your eye twitches and you just, you know, can't stop it and it's just like, whatever. It's kind of like that. It's a little annoying. My first impressions. It's not painful at all. Unless it's like I have a full bladder and he's like kicking it. Here we are again. And... There's a floor! I can see the floor now. So, got everything pretty much organized in this room. I feel... very accomplished. So, today marks the beginning of 21 weeks. He is the size of an eggplant, which is equivalent to like a foot long. Speaking of feet, why are you filming your feet? Because <laughs> I tried to put on my socks and I can't really bend over very well anymore. I need help. Woe is you. <laughs> Can you, can you help me put my socks and shoes on? I didn't even get this sock on all the way. <laughs> Thank you, my love. I love you. <laughs> You're welcome, my love. That's what I'm here for. To support, support you in your time I don't even need. know if these are the shoes I want to wear, but... Yeti, are you going to help? The other sock is up here. <laughs> so say, do you do do you do one leg at a time or do you do socks and then shoes? I do socks <laughs> and then shoes. No, what I mean is do you do sock shoe one leg? No, who does shoe, that? Nobody does that. Comment below if you do that. <laughs> Nobody does that. Socks first, both feet, and then shoes. I wouldn't say. It's unnecessary. Sure there are plenty of people out there. For all you know, maybe you're in the minority. No, no, no. Yes, yes. Okay, now so. don't break my ankle. You got to make sure the heel is in. Have you ever put a shoe on a child before? Nope, not really. <laughs> Never learn how to tie shoes. Thank you, my love. Namaste. <laughs> what are y'all doing in here?
We are listening to Sweet for Solo Cello number one in G major by Johann Sebastian Bach. Bach. <laughs> Because, apparently, around week 19, 18, he is able to hear sounds from inside of the womb. So, currently, we are well past week 19. Therefore, he should hear the lovely sounds of a cello. Is he dancing? No, he's calm. You should try turning this on the next time he is like going crazy. It's worse. 